In this video, I'm going to go over the documents panel position and size. Over here on the right hand side, it is the second icon down. And as you can see, I don't have any options. So I went ahead and drew some shapes here. And I'll select this polygon. And now I have options. So your X and your Y position on your mat, you can well, just let me first of all say this is just for positioning things on your mat. It has nothing to do with cutting. Those are set here, okay? So this polygon has a bounding box around it that doesn't touch the shape, right? So with this selected here, it's going to put this corner at whatever position I tell it to. So let's say I type two in here and two in here. And it's going to put this corner right here at two inches and at two inches. Okay. Now, if I go to the center, it's going to put the center wherever whatever values I have in here. So right now you can see it's at 3.143 and 3.087, which is obviously mathematically correct. All right, so let's go ahead and put this, I don't know, at six and six. So we'll put six inches and six inches. So now the center point, because I have the center selected here, is at six inches and six inches. So that's how that works, okay? And you have all these different positions, all right? So when I select two objects, this is a little different. So right here is my center point. If I zoom in here you can see the center point all right so let's say I want that at nine inches and nine inches so we'll do nine and these numbers don't have to be the same I'm just making them the same for an easier illustration okay it covered up my polygon but that's all right all right so the center now is at nine inches and at nine inches all right now, if I go ahead and choose this bottom left, it's going to go by this corner of the bounding box. So if I put that at, I always mess these up. Let's see, 12 and zero, it put, this corner of the box at 12 and at 0. Okay. So that kind of explains this diagram here. Um, you can play around with it with a shape or with multiple shapes selected. All right. We have, let me zoom out again. We have a line horizontal and a line vertical to the page or to the selection. So let's do to the page first. If I want it set horizontally in the center of the page or vertically in the page, on the page, okay? So then if I go ahead and I select it and I want to, well, let me draw another shape here. I select both of these and I do to selection, what that's going to do is it's going to center those two objects vertically and horizontally together because they're both selected. All right. If I just wanted to align them horizontally to the right, I could do that or to the left, I could do that vertically as well, top or bottom. Okay, so that's how that works. And then we have our size. So let me go ahead and 
select this and move it over here. And let's say I need this square to be a rectangle. To be four inches wide, I would just type four, point enter, and it's going to make it four inches wide, and it's going to keep its proportions. Okay, if you don't want it to keep its proportions, then if I want, if I untick that and I want it to be four inches wide, <clears throat> but I still want it to stay at 2.945 high, then that's how I would do that. All right, so let me go ahead and tick that back. And then, of course, we have rotate. You can rotate left, you can rotate right, and this here is your flip. So let me just go ahead and type out some text here. And if I select that and I flip it, this is for your HTV, all right? This is where you're going to want to flip it on your mat. Now, when you go to your cut uh, settings, you can choose mirror it here. All right, let me go back and put this on the mat. Let me just move these off for now. All right, and then I go to my cut settings. You can mirror it here, all right? But because it's mirrored here, if I click mirror, it's gonna be regular okay so you only have to do it one place either here and I suggest you doing it here rather than in here because you may forget when you're messing around with this other stuff okay all right so then of course you can flip it vertically and horizontally okay so that does it for the position and size panel. Thanks for watching.